In this video I'll be unboxing the Insta360 Flow and show you how to set it up for the first time. So let's get started. Once you remove the plastic covering, the box opens up like a door, it just held by magnets. And what's nice about it is that every instruction on how to set it up is included right away, so you don't have to search for it. So this is the main unit, it's very small and also light on the touch. The box has this other compartment with the other accessories included, let's check inside. First here we have the magnetic clamp, the one that goes on your phone. And you may have noticed those orange stickers that you can remove. Well, every one of them has a number and this is to follow the instructions that are on the box. We also get one of these short USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable to recharge the gimbal. And this is a rubber grip. And inside of it, there is a small storage bag where you can put the gimbal and other accessories when you don't use it. Talking about this grip, it's very nice that it's included. It's mostly because it makes everything more comfortable and easier to hold for longer periods of time. And the last thing that there is in the box is those small manuals and warranty card. Okay, first step to set it up is to download the Insta360 app on your Android or iPhone. You can put your phone aside for a few seconds while it's downloading and installing. Take the magnetic metal clamp and you see there's an arrow pointing up. This means that this is the direction of your phone. You should clamp it right in the middle of it, like this. And it works even with many different cases, like mine. Take the gimbal and on the top side, over here, where it says number two, right above it, you need to remove this small plastic protector over the magnet and you can remove the orange sticker as well just peel it out to connect the phone to the gimbal you see there's a small notch over here there's only one and there's a small indentation on the clamp itself you need to match both of these like this and the magnet is very strong so you see this is how it should look if you don't do it right and place it this way well, there's a risk that your phone will fall out really quickly because it's not secured. Next, locate where it says 3 on the orange sticker, peel it out, and we're going to open the gimbal. To do it, very easy, put your left hand over there and simply twist them until both of them are open and secure like this. The gimbal will turn on automatically. To turn it off, just press this power button a few seconds and you'll see on the screen everything will shut down. You can also remove the last sticker, the one on the handle itself. To open the built-in tripod on the bottom, just extend it this way. And then you need to pull on the small feet here, so they all open up. There are three of them. Like this. And then spread it out and you can rest it on a table very easily. You can also extend the whole gimbal by simply pulling the top part and the bottom part where the controls are. This way is very practical if you want to take some selfies or some really high angle shots. To put it back it's very easy, you just have to apply some force and close it by yourself. You can also put that rubber handle simply by gliding it and make sure that the button goes through the small hole here like this and as I said it's very comfortable if you're gonna use it for more than 10 minutes I think this is a must you won't fatigue your hand that much to charge the battery you need to take this USB type C cable and the port is right on the right side of the controls there's another port over here but this is meant if you attach a light or other things if you want to recharge you need to use that one you can open the app and you'll have to press the agree button at first. Then press yes on this screen. Then you need to allow everything if you want the app to work well with the gimbal. And then press go to app. The app will start searching for the device. Make sure that it's turned on by pressing the power button a few seconds. Like this. Then you can press connect on the screen. 
it may take a few seconds and sometimes it doesn't work the first try. If you get uh, this message, don't worry, okay? What you need to do is to do exactly what it says there. So it's to press the trigger and the record button at the same time for three seconds. This is what I'm doing right now. Three seconds, then I release everything. I just need to power it on again. And then on the app, I'll press the complete button. If it's still not connected, you're going to go on the top right corner where there is a camera with a Wi-Fi symbol, press on it and press connect again. Then you should see the screen and press pair and it will work. Here we go. There's a good chance that you have a new firmware to be in, that needs to be installed. Just install it. And during that time, don't do anything with the gimbal. Don't touch it. Okay, just press this button and let it sit. It should take about a minute or two. Once it's finished, you'll get this screen and you just have to press on activation. And from here, you can press the go to settings to register later, later if you don't want to register. And we're almost done. Just press the camera icon on the lower side. And here you need to allow the camera, obviously, and the microphone if you want to have sound while recording. Just allow these. Here it asks if you want to allow pop-up connection so it connects automatically with your phone. Do it and then press the confirm button. There is a small tutorial that you'll go through and you need to do what it says on the screen. I won't do it with you because it's very self-explanatory. And in just a few seconds, you'll be able to record videos and take pictures with your new gimbal. So this is it. This puts an end to my video. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, a comment down below, and also check the Amazon links in the description if you want to get one of these.